This November, Denver voters will take up a nearly half billion dollar bond proposal. It deals with issues like homelessness and includes a new project like an arena at the National Western Complex. Denver 7's Micah Smith is hearing from critics who say the projects in the bond aren't what Denver needs. Molly, this package is worth about $450 million and it's meant to address many of the issues that continue in our city. I talked to Denver Streets Partnership Executive Director Jill Locantore and she says the bond will do some good things. But Locantore says she thinks the bond is giving way too much money to new things like the arena at the National Western Center and not enough money to fix existing infrastructure. Right now, the bond gives $60 million to transportation. It would help the city put in bike lanes and sidewalks. But Locantori says that's not nearly enough money. She says it would cost about $1 billion to build a comprehensive sidewalk network. She says the streets partnership would like the city to allocate funds for bus rapid transit along Colfax Avenue. But that project would cost $150 million, which is a lot more than what's included in the bond. With Go Bond funding, we can fulfill the vision for bus rapid transit where we reclaim some of that street space for dedicated busways. So those buses can go faster, more frequently, and carry a lot more people efficiently down that corridor. Locantori says as we head into November, she wants voters to keep in mind that when we vote on a bond, we're taking out debt as a city. She says she wants to encourage voters to support projects that would create the biggest impact for the money. Brian.